What's going on dev? Welcome back to WebDev channel. In today's episode, we're gonna create from scratch and step by step an awesome CSS button hover effect using just HTML and CSS. Basically, we have a linear gradient behind those buttons and we hover over it and it shows up. Stick to the end because by doing that, you will be able to make it by yourself. Hap coding. Hey, if you're new here and want to increase your web dev skills, subscribe and click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a new video. Okay, dev, and we start from the beginning. You start from scratch, you have two files one for content layer, our index.html, and for presentation layer, we have style.css. And in here, let's create our boiler plate. Hit exclamation and tab, and yeah, we have it here. Okay. Let's hit tab a couple of times and come to the title. In the title, let's say something like awesome CSS button hover effect. Okay. It's almost done, our boiler plate. All we need now is a link connecting our markup to our CSS, okay? So link, CSS, tab, and yeah, our boiler plate is done. Okay, Dev, so as you expect, our markup is going to be quite simple. We're talking about two buttons. We're going to use Emmet here. You can do the regular way. We're going to have a main container that wraps around everything. A echo tag pointing to nowhere. And inside this one, we are going to have a spam. Okay. And the spam is going to have the text of button. And let's multiply that by two. And yeah, let me fix that mess here. And you have this container and those two buttons okay let me show you side by side what we have so far okay dev we are in the realm of css where the magic happens okay let's start by grabbing the poppins fonts for google fonts and let's have our css reset okay let's have our margin zero because different browsers offer different margins and we want this to be the same on Chrome and Firefox, okay? For the box sizing, we want that to be border box. It's easier to work. And let's use that font from Google Fonts, okay? So, font family poppins and so serif as a fallback. And now we want to center those buttons okay in order to do that we're gonna grab the select body and let's use display flex okay the mean height here is gonna be 100 vh we're gonna use the whole screen okay mean height 100 viewport and now let's do the trick just by content center along the main axis horizontally and just find content, align items here, center, and yeah, this is right in the middle. We did it. Another thing we have to do here is change the uh, background color. It's gonna be this one. Let me type 0E1538, and we have this nice and blue background. After dealing with the body, now let's grab the main container, okay, the container that holds those two buttons, and the display in here is gonna be also flex, okay? Just like content center, align item center, but we don't want them side by side, okay? We want that on the top of each other. In order to do that, let's have flex direction columns, and yeah, now we have the the way we want all right and continue down here 
where I'm gonna grab the container and those link tags here. I save the position relative because you're gonna have some stuff that's gonna be absolute. Let's also give it a size, okay, the width of one one six pixels. And for the height, let's say 60 pixels. And the display here is gonna be inline block. Alright. And let's pick a color, a background color. It's gonna be white. And now we have one <laughs> instead of two buttons. Do you have any ideas how we, we can put the apart? Okay, let's do that. Margin 20 pixel all the way around. And yeah, now we have two buttons. And now we're gonna use a pseudo class. Okay, now we understand why we have this position relative here because the pseudo class is gonna be absolute to this. Okay, so let's grab a container A before and after okay content here nothing the position as i said is gonna be absolute to the container a and inset zero we also wanna uh, pick a background column let's have a red and let's apply some transition okay we want to have here a transition of dot five seconds okay okay so far so good and let's grab the container a and this time the spam okay let's start with position it's gonna be absolute from top zero from left also zero okay the width is gonna be 100%. The height is gonna be also 100%. Alright. And here the display is gonna be inline block. For the background color, let's pick a blue color that fits our the body. Okay. 0E1538. And the Z index is going to be 10, so we can see what we have here. And for this button here, we want to put that right in the middle. So let's use display flex, just three lines of code, just like content center. And align items also center along the cross axis, okay? And yeah, it's right in the middle. We also want the font size to be 1.2 RAM. We want that to be uppercase, so text transform is gonna be uppercase. Let's give some space in between the characters here, okay? So letter space is gonna be two pixels. The color is gonna be white because it's easier to read white on blue instead of blue on blue okay and another thing we need here is gonna be a border we want a border that's gonna be one pixel it's gonna be solid okay and let's pick a color 04 a29 and yeah we have these nice borders in here and for the overflow hidden and yeah, we have two nice buttons and with these buttons. And now we want to create the animation. Okay, you all need to do that. We come here and let's copy the container and the link. Okay, the soda class before. And here, let's have a hover, hover over this one, okay? And here, let's have a inset, and let's set the 
value to minus three pixels. Okay, let me show you. Okay, so every time I hover over this one, the inset changes to minus three. Okay, this is the before. Okay, so now we're gonna have the after container anchor hover and after and here we, we want to have the same thing the inset minus three you know it's all the sides plus filter blood 10 pixels let me show you now we have two effects this inset and also the blur of 10 pixels all right devs and now let's grab this container before here okay this one that's right now they are ready and let's change that okay let's select those nth child in here nth child the first one we are talking about the first button here the one on the on the top and what do we want to happen here? We want to change the background. Instead of that ugly ready, we're gonna have a linear gradient, okay? So let's have linear gradient, 45 degrees. And we're gonna have these colors here, three colors. T49, 8DB, We are also gonna have this one, the the blue one, 0E1538. And then we're gonna have a yellow color, okay? FFC312. Let me show you, yeah. Now we go from blue to yellow, okay? We have this nice hover effect. Instead of showing that very ugly ready, we have this nice color. You know how to do this one, so the second one is, is gonna be the same, okay? All I have to do, let's copy this, paste it here. Instead of nth child one, we're gonna have nth child two, okay? For the second button. And let's also change a little bit here the colors, okay? Let's pick another color here. EA2027, let's keep the blue in the middle, okay? And the last one here, 1AF22, and let me show you, okay, this one is, is going to be from red to green, nice effect. Okay devs, our project is almost done, we need just one more thing here, a little detail here, we want to grab the this button and give it two colors okay one on the left and another one on the right give the impression that you, you can really put your finger there and it turns it on or turn it off okay it's gonna be right here in the mirror okay the position here is absolute okay absolute for its container and from the top here is gonna be zero from left minus 50%, okay, putting that right in the middle. The width is gonna be 100% of its container. Height also 100%. And let's also give it a background RGBA, so you can see here. Okay, it's not dot. 255, 255. 255 and as you can see right in the middle and now let's change the transparency 0 0.075 and yeah now it looks like a, a real button that you will see everywhere okay transform skill let's change that 25 degrees or wherever you like the most and as you can see, it's done. Okay, everything is working nice. And congratulations, you did it.
If you like it, you know what to do, subscribe and you also click that little bell down below so you get notified every time I post a new video. Bye bye and see you in the next one.